Tired of crooked horizons and leaning buildings? I'm certainly tired of looking at them. Let me show you how to fix it. So specifically, I'm going to be talking about this new updated panel in the latest version of Lightroom. This is the Transform panel. This is available to you in the newest version of Lightroom. That's 2015.6 release that is available to Creative Cloud subscribers. Before we get into that, let's just kind of show you and remind you that this panel used to be all part of the lens correction panel of getting things nice and straight. And one of the easiest ways to do that was to hit the level button and it would smartly look at the image, figure out where that horizon was, and try to level it as best it could. And usually, it does a pretty darn good job. You could also do this by eyeballing it. So I'm gonna hit the reset button. I'm gonna come up to the crop tool, and you could click outside of the image, and you get this more precise grid lines, and then you could drag to eyeball. Another thing you can do with this tool is click the angle, and then drag along your horizon. I'm gonna use that spot where the water meets the land for as far as I can see it and do the same thing. And you can see that it just barely made a difference, but it is nice and straight right now. I'd also use that crop tool to get rid of that tiny little bit of land creeping in there. So that's a stronger image to me, along with some more editing to of course bring out the colors and the nice things like that. And I should also remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections so that it automatically removes distortion. I am starting on this image from absolute scratch. I've hit the reset button just to show you all of this. When I import images, I have a base preset that does a lot of that work for me, including leveling. But watch out, I'm gonna show you why that's dangerous uh, and you need to be aware of that down the road a little bit. Let's switch over to another image though uh, and use a similar method. We're gonna use that angle tool and I'm going to draw along the edge. It's smart enough to say you're drawing a vertical line now, so I'm going to straighten it based on that vertical line. And that looks pretty good to me. I notice that there's a bit more distortion. I'm going to hit enter to accept that. I'm going to come down to my lens correction, go to profile, and again, turn this on. I'm forgetting to do that because I have that turned on automatically on import. And there does look to me to be a tiny bit of distortion. If we get back to that more simple grid line, there seems to be just a small amount of bowing in this image. I'm exaggerating it right now, but uh, I'm going to come down to my distortion tool. Let me close that. Come down to my distortion tool and add just a little bit, and I think we have a much straighter line. And again, that looks pretty good. But what do you do in a more complex situation? This is where this new tool comes into place. A lot of times these buttons ma are magical, and again, they were up here in the lens correction before. Hitting level will often do a very nice job, as I showed with that sunrise picture. Auto does a nice job as well, often. But in a more complex environment like this, Lightroom is struggling. It, doesn't even try to do anything. That's when this new guided tool comes into play that is very, very nice. It allows you to draw a vertical and horizontal line to match up. So I'm gonna find a horizontal line that I wanna match up with in this image. And I'm gonna use the top of this kind of mezzanine. So I'm gonna start right over here on the left. I'm gonna to drag to the right and you know, again, a benefit of this tool over that other one is we have this magnification so you can really precisely match up. And somewhere around here, I started right on that edge. I'm gonna draw there. Nothing happens because now it's waiting for me to do a vertical line. I'm gonna use this line straight down the ceiling. I tried to line myself up as precisely as possible with that, and I'm gonna use that line. Now, it rotates and distorts and stretches so that we have a much more vertical image and horizontal image that is just right. If we come back to our crop tool, I'm just gonna click to get that more precise grid lines and looking around, it looks pretty good to me. I might bring it back just a tiny bit like that, but otherwise, this is a nice image. You can see the final version of this image on my Instagram account, which you should follow if you're interested in photography, tips, tricks, and things of that sort. I'll put the link right down below and right above. This image I'm just going to use real quick to show you why you should not have auto on import. Because if you do that with this image, it stretches it in such a way and fixes it in such a way that it actually crops off part of the image. 
Now, you could argue my subject is actually right here. So it's not such a bad thing to have that. If I really was listening to it, I probably would just go ahead and say, well, I'll crop in more and put my subject somewhere around there so that it's a little bit, but that's a lot of cropping. I try not to do that much cropping, but um, while you can have this uh, on import, it can be dangerous because I've run across, I've tried to use it from time to time, and of course run across images where I go, wow, did I really do that bad a job and chopped off that person's feet or head? No, um, it just thought that it needed to do that to get a more level environment. Level is a little bit safer. You can see that it didn't make as drastic of a change, but it is just nicking off the top now, which again would bother me, and I would either fully crop in or I would leave it off in this case. If you appreciated this video, give it a quick thumbs up. If you would like a lot more Lightroom learning, maybe six plus hours of Lightroom learning on how to import pictures and make Lightroom do all of the work for you, it's really all about working smarter, not harder. I run into people time and time again that say, I don't want to spend hours post-processing my images. You don't have to. I've got a whole training series that shows you how to do it efficiently, quickly and get great results that impress your friends. Today, this day that you're watching this video, is the last day to save 20% off what is already a low price. The value here is, I think, awesome. Uh, and it has been highly reviewed. You can save 20% today, and that brings it down to $19.99. All of the details you need to know are linked right down below and at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.